Hey guys, it's Aaron Ho from Mobile Reviews A.C. And today I'm going to do a review of Moshi's Chameleon. This is the perfect iPhone 6S or Plus case for your uh, avid FaceTimer or any sort of video conferencing Skype person. The thing that makes this case the best thing for a FaceTimer does come at a cost and does make a case a little thicker than your average iPhone case. Now I've had a lot of deja vu with this case as it's basically the same case except for uh, slight differences between the iGlaze Nappa and the case portion of the iGlaze Ion. Which means this is going to be a very short review which is good because, well, I don't like wasting people's time. Based on my time with this case I've given it a score of 4.1 A's out of 5 as I mentioned earlier. The added size does lower the score a bit when compared to the other Moshi cases that I've reviewed which include the Nappa the Lux, as well as the regular eye glaze and the eye glaze armor. If you're looking for other multifunction cases, check out the Clipstick Pro by Scooch, the Loopy Vibe cases, as well as the Spigen Style Ring. Links are in the eye or in the description section below. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile reviews, a dot ca. At Mobile Reviews A.C, we base everything we do uh, on actual usage. So when a case comes with something that's well, makes a lot of noise every single time you click it, and I'm a very finicky person, so I'll do this a lot. Well, we'll do this until somebody gets annoyed and throws a dog toy at us. I am going to cheat a little bit with this review. The iGlaze Nappa review basically covers almost everything on this iPhone case. I'm going to focus on two things, which is just the difference in the materials on the back as well as this kickstand. So if you need the full, full review, go check out the iGlaze Nappa. Again, links are in the description, I or the description section below. In terms of the design, there are two things that set the chameleon apart from the Nappa, which are the materials on the back as well as the kickstand. Now for the materials on the back, if you look closely at it, it's kind of like textured cloth. I don't know what it is exactly. My wife says it looks like it's some from 1970s. Um, but if you listen carefully, you can kind of hear the texture. Now this added fabric does add a bit of friction to the back of the iPhone case, which makes the chameleon a little easier to handle than the iGlaze Nappa. Now the most glaring difference is the kickstand. Let's not kid ourselves. Unlike other cases that try to hide the kickstand. Moshi does a great job of accenting the back of the case um, and making it a standout feature of the case. The kickstand is easy to access though it won't open unless you want it to. It does make a slight clicking noise as you saw earlier and if you're like me who has really finicky hands this might not be the case for you or if you have very finicky hands like me then your fingers always need to be doing something then this might be the best case for you. Again somebody might throw a dog toy at you. Now out of all the kickstand cases that I've reviewed, this is the only one that works well to FaceTime or any type of video conferencing because the kickstand is low enough on the case that it holds the case closer to a 90 degree angle which means you can easily free up both your hands while doing video conferencing. The kickstand is easy enough to access that you can easily prop it open with one hand. The entire process of answering a video call and propping it up is very, very slick. I've yet to come across a case that comes close to this specific video conferencing setup. The Scooch Clipstick Pro doesn't have this perk as the angle of the clip isn't high enough, which is the same problem as the Loopy cases. Well, you can't do this at all in terms of having it go portrait um, with the Loopy cases. There are attachment accessories that you can add to the back of your iPhone, like the fly grip as well as the speaking style ring, but this means having an irregularly shaped thing on the back of your iPhone and to get the right angle means you're going to have to pretty much put the, the, the uh, fly grip or the style ring at the very bottom of the iPhone which makes the uh, accessory a little useless to use. Now despite all my praise for the kickstand I will say that the iPhone isn't terribly stable as a slight tap on the top of the iPhone um, will make it fall when you've got it in portrait mode. Now you can do both landscape and portrait with this easily so again this is a very good case for an office dweller. This is a great case for a video conferencing junkie. Um, all in all, pretty impressed. It is a bit thicker and I do like the design. This is a nice setup on the back of the case. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Uh, find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, as well as Snapchat and Instagram. So many places that I have to keep track of being on. Uh, that's kind of all I got. Did you find Monty? He's over there. He's lying down, uh, you can kind of see him. He's lying down on his cat pillow because he hates cats, I mean loves cats, I mean hates cats. Thanks for watching.